Morning everybody. Okay, or whatever time it is where you are. Evening, afternoon. Today I'm going to be making black dragon tea and this is a scent from Saint Perfique and it's like a light incense. I wouldn't really say it smells like tea. Anyway, it's here because I actually have already made this and because I'm ultra professional now, I'm doing this proper intro. <laughs> Okay, black dragon tea. Smells like, I think they say, uh, guyac wood. It's just like a really light, airy, fresh sort of incense smell. And this is one of my absolute favorite scents. So we're using three micas in this and white in the base. So I'm using forest gold from Mica Mama. Tropical Blue from the Sopery and Black Sparkle, which I believe is also from the Sopery. And then on the top, I'm going to sprinkle some black salt. So stay tuned if you want to see how it's made. Okay, so first of all, I've got you propped up above so you can see it may be a bit easier this way. I'm going to add my micas to my jugs. There's the blue, and then the forest gold, which is here. And then my black, which is here. Most of the time I would normally use charcoal, but because I've got the black sparkle mica, it's just a little bit easier to deal with. So I'm just gonna pop those to the side and bring in my bucket of oils. Okay, so my lime mixture is ready. So I'm just gonna pour that in to here. And stick blend to a light emulsification. Now I'm going to pour into these containers to get my colours done. Black, some green, and some blue. tissue just to clean up. So I'm just going to use the spoon to just mix those in a second. Okay, now I can put a little bit of fragrance in these and we'll just stir it in in a second. And you want to smidge in the colours because the base is the main thing. I'm just going to put these to the side. And then I'm going to add my titanium dioxide to the base. And that's just in water. And I'm just going to stick around at that so it disperses well. And the fragrance can go in there. And this one doesn't discolour, luckily. It also doesn't accelerate, so really nice soap to make. Get the mould. 
molds up. Get this white base in first. Let me know if you like this uh, format where you can see it being poured above. I think it's quite good. The only thing is sometimes if I've got a lot of the stuff on the counter then it might not be as good <laughs> for me. but still good for you so you can see what's going on in here a bit easier than usual okay I'm going to reserve and also that white for the top okay I think I'll do black first over for the top so just do a little something like that and we're going with the green I love the scent so much it's really nice and then in with the blue, I don't want to go too much because this one is higher than the other one, so try and bring that up with this blue. You want to have a bit more blue than the other, but it doesn't matter. Go, just try to make it even a bit more. Mm. Just to bring it up to a level point like the other, that's it. Okay, now chopstick so on its side as usual, just like that. side so you can see rather than my arm being in the way do my clock ticking in the background reminding me that I need to get home to my dog been on her own again this afternoon while I went to the wholesaler. Okay, let's try a bit of the blue. So how's everybody doing? I'll tell you what you can answer in the comments is do you know anybody that has had the virus. I'd just like to know, because I don't know anybody that's had it. I don't know anybody that's had any symptoms other than what I'm seeing in the media, you know, like there's a guy that I watch in a comedy called This Country, and he went to Cheltenham Races, uh, I think it was last week, and he's contracted it. He hasn't been tested, but he's come down with that awful flu so I would presume that's what it is but you never know do you you never know it could just be seasonal flu as well so there's that to take into consideration but yeah I don't know anyone in this area and I haven't heard of anybody in this area as having had it so hopefully it won't be too long before it just goes away you know but I'd be interested to hear in the comments I mean you know America you're a lot bigger country than us so chances are 
that you might know somebody or you know locally whether you've got cases in your town or city I'm just interested to know because I haven't heard of anybody at all other than the you know what the media was saying and there was a, a nurse uh, not the nurse sorry a doctor the other day that she'd had it and was telling of her symptoms and how it was horrific flu-like symptoms for three solid days and then she was hoping to go back to work the day she was talking so or the day after she was talking about it but yeah I haven't heard of any cases at all in this area other than suspected maybes you know I know a lot of places are a lot harder hit obviously China But yeah, just interested to know. I'm sure people are putting up videos just to, uh, you know, I haven't looked on YouTube really. I've, I've looked at some conspiracies <laughs> that pop up in your feed. I've been, I watch a lot of Joe Rogan and things like that. So I, like, I was watching a clip from something of his the other day where a guy was on there talking about it and, you know, sort of informing people of what it actually is. And that was really interesting, but yeah, no, no known cases in this area, which is really nice. But I am shutting myself away. My my shop is closed at the moment, and I'm just doing my mail order because I can't afford to get sick. But I can come, you know, straight from my house to my shop without seeing anybody, which I think is the safest thing to do. So yeah, the only thing I do have to do is go in the supermarket but I try and go really early morning when there's not many people around if I just need some bread and things like that so I'm doing what I can and I'm obviously constantly washing my hands as we all do anyway but yeah it's um isn't it horrible isn't it just horrible you know nobody wants that in their life do they none of us want to have to wake up to this nightmare every day just horrible and it really brings out the worst in people as well because you know obviously everybody wants to look after themselves and oh good lord anyway I'm gonna leave that to set up a second okay just gonna do the tops as best as I can I'd normally leave it to thicken a bit more than that, but it's okay. That'll do. That looks pretty. Now, black salt just down the side of each one. This is a new black salt. I've just managed to get it from a place called Whole Foods Online. I don't think that's Whole Foods. It's a British company that stock it. It's quite hard to get hold of. The last one, I can't remember where I got it. It all comes under sodium chloride because it's just salt, but the black salt yeah I can't remember where I got my last packet it lasted me for so long so I don't use it that much but it is a nice ingredient to put on some okay some of that's going to come off in the cutting of this so Put plenty on. There we go. I'll leave a picture of this uh, wet soap now for you, and then we'll be back to cut it. I'm just going to take my gloves off because I'm very hot, and I will see you for the cut in a second. Okay, time to cut black dragon tea. 
So here it is in its mould. So how is everybody doing? I hope you're all doing okay. Amongst the madness that is our world right now, and I'm doing all right. I'm just uh, getting on with what I need to do. Today I've got these to cut, and then I've got to go and put them out on the shelves out the back, and then I've got orders to pack because I'm still getting orders in because I'm still shipping them, and I've still got that sale going on for the next few more days. So, yeah, that's what's going on at the moment. So we went out this morning to the gym because our gym is still open and there's hardly anybody in there because obviously people are too frightened to go anywhere right now but nothing has been closed but inside the gym me and Matt were saying my god you, it, it couldn't be cleaner you know like they are going around every time anybody gets on a machine they are cleaning them down immediately or you do it yourself, you know, there's like bottles of disinfectant and you just wipe down each machine you go on. And I think this morning I could count probably about 10 people in there. So everybody's keeping their distance from each other. But yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not worried about this. Like I'm not getting in a frenzy. I'm not, I'm refusing to get like that. And yeah, I'm just not too worried really. We, I always look at the stats and I'm looking at the stats in this area. And we've had one confirmed case in the whole of our area out of 567,000 people there's been one case and that's not a death it's just a confirmed case so I think the odds are you know pretty good at the moment not that it won't change and not that we don't know the real stats but that's what's come out so far in all of this and it's been weeks that it's been going on for so I'm really not getting myself in a panic and I'm just gonna be vigilant in my actions but just you know don't panic don't panic it does you no favors to panic so yeah we went to the gym and did our little thing for an hour oh look at that so we just got to get on with it and go for as long as we can until we're told otherwise. So no businesses are closed. Everything is sort of operating as normal apart from the schools closing tomorrow. And other than that, we will wait and see. But I had read yesterday that one of the last hospitals to open in China for this has closed because there have been no more new cases. I mean, I don't know how true any of it is that you, you know, you listen to or you read and you have to be really careful where you get your information. But even just to read it, even if it's false, it makes your mindset better because it's good news rather than bad. <laughs> so, you know, nobody really knows the, the true picture of this worldwide. So, just playing it by ear but we're all okay and you know kind of at minimal risk really I don't go anywhere you know I'm sort of stuck in this shop it's closed I don't let anyone in at the moment and then I go home and I close the door <laughs> I don't come back out again until I come back to work the next day so that's my life right now so I should continue on until the government tell us that we can't if they tell us that we can't but yeah I've got this uh, like I said before, I've just got this feeling like this ain't going to last for much longer. And I really, really hope I'm right, you know. Anyway. Next bit. So this came out really nice. I'll tell you what I watched. So if anyone's interested, I watched the Corey Haim documentary it's actually here on YouTube and I didn't realize and I it was something that I wanted to watch so I watched that last night just so I didn't watch the news and you know listen to any more virus information but I watched it and was oh god oh god oh god oh god yeah very sad but very good and very well done and yeah poor old Corey Feldman you know he's been holding on to that for so long and it just made me feel so bad for him, but fair play to him. Brave, 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 brave man. My God, 
to tackle something so huge, you know? Anyway, that's worth a watch if you haven't seen it yet. Um, what else? I've started watching, at work, I've started watching Goliath again for the second time because at the moment I can't think of anything that I really want to watch. And there's things I am watching but I, I just loved that so much that I'm just sort of catching snippets of it when I'm at work because it just, I just love it. I like the atmosphere of it so I'm watching the first series again. There's just something about Billy Bob that I just adore him. I, I just think he's just great. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to leave some pictures at the end of this and I will be back soon for more videos. Okay, ta-ta.